Herman. <coughs> Herman. Herman, phone. There's trouble downtown. <laughs> I'll drive. Man, I didn't do it. Yeah, I was around there, but I didn't do anything. Look, I know I've been in trouble before, but I'm not like that anymore. Do you really think I would kill a guy? Daniel Hong? Grand jury has returned an indictment that charges you with one count of murder in the first degree. The maximum penalty for the sole count of this indictment is life imprisonment. Mr. Herman, is he ready to enter a plea in this matter? Fine. Now you've put forward an application for bail. Mr. Palumbo, would you oppose such an application for this defendant? I would, Your Honour. The defendant has a history of escalating criminal behaviour. Thank you, Mr. Herman, but I will decide what's relevant here. Your Honour, what I'm trying to say is that this defendant has previously been charged on numerous counts, ranging from vandalism to aggravated assault. That's enough, Councillor. Stand down, Councillor. Sit! Your Honour, this is the most serious of offences, and not only is the defendant a flight risk, he also poses a danger to the community at large. All right. I'm going to order the defendant remanded to custody until July 10, when this matter is set for trial. We're in recess. And finally, your client was apprehended in the immediate vicinity of the crime... ...of the crime scene. Well, circumstantial it may be, but I'm saying this is a pretty clear case of robbery gone wrong, and I think the jury will too. I don't like where you're going with this. Yeah. Call me when you wake up to yourself. I have work to do. Okay, fetch! Herman! Hey, Herman! Sauce? Yeah, thanks. Hey, 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 hey! Que novita, amigo? Que dici? Oh, que peccato! Sai? Penso di averne sentito qualcosa. Fu pugnalato, no? Allora, se cerchi un killer, dovresti andare alla conferenza di cattiveria stasera. Non hai sentito? Questa serata ci sarà una grande riunione al bar in centro. Il Consiglio Mondiale di Furfanti. Ci saranno tutti. Contrabandieri di droga, cultisti, assassini. E certo, con tutta quella gentaccia in giro, come può non esserci? Ehi, non c'è problema. Se sento qualche altra cosa, te lo farò sapere. Oh, va bene. Ciao! No, I wasn't expecting this. Well, how was I supposed to know the dog would be representing him? No, 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 don't. I'm taking care of them. Trust me, this kid's going away. Permanently. And I'll have a medium Napolitana with extra olives, but no anchovies. I hate anchovies. <laughs> 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 Still can't get that fur ball? Uh, I think I might just scrap it. 
Every time I start a story, I get 10 pages in and it just falls apart. Well, it's not like I got anything better to do. What? Four months. It's been four months and I still feel like this. I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm moving on, you know? I'm working. And then I'll see something. I'll remember something. I'll, I'll hear something. I'll hear a song. A song that we used to, like, listen to, you know, and we'd make jokes about it. And I can't even you bring know, myself to, like, say they, it they to anybody friends, else. You know, they didn't get back together or anything like that. But they're friends, you know, even though they were deeply in love with each other. And then she's telling me how great her life is. How free she feels and how liberated. How good her new boyfriend is. It's full enough to hear about her goddamn new boyfriend. Hey! Where, where are you going? What, are you kidding? Sal said all the evilest people in the world are going to be there. Well, give me a second, I'll get the leash. Why not? Oh, so I'm good enough to come with you to the courthouse or to the law library. But as soon as there's somewhere cool to go, then it's too dangerous. Fine, go! Get out of here, you big important dog with your grappling hook and your pants. Oh, and bring me back some Scoopy Snacks! One, two, three, Welcome, everybody, and thanks for coming. Founded in 1878, the World Council holds this conference each year, providing the opportunity for thieves, polluters, rapists, murderers, and other professional practitioners of evil to network, compare notes, or simply perform deviant sexual acts on each other. Tonight, our keynote speech is from Miss Wozetsky, entitled, It's Just My Job, dealing with being called a maggot-ridden rectal boil in the line of duty. <laughs> Mr. Chino will be facilitating a workshop called Get Out There or I'll Cut You Good, keeping your employees focused. Yeah, whores! <laughs> but first, <gasps> we will torture and kill this sweet little bunny. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Herman, the legal Labrador! Hey, he brought the cops down on me in South Central! He ruined my Okinawa operation! He appeals to men and women in multiple age demographics! There ain't nothing illegal going on here, Rover. So take a hike. Let me do all the things. <laughs> Got me a bunny. <laughs> Him. He's my dog. I own who the fuck the fuck him. I uh, I own him. And what has he ever done for me? Hey, thanks for getting me that job interview, Herman. Thanks for getting the rent this month, Herman. This is the best mayonnaise you ever made, Herman. Danny Hong. Danny Hong, the name is unfamiliar. Perhaps Doggy is barking up the wrong tree. Perhaps, but listen to this. Merry, merry, quite contrarily, tumbling down the hill. Pray, have you ever seen the rain upon my windowsill? I wrote that myself. <laughs> Hey, it's Chuck. Yeah, uh, I'm just wondering. 
if you were a prosecuting attorney and you had an office, where in the office would you keep your really sensitive documents? Uh, Because I'm in Palumbo's office. No, no, I don't think it's breaking and entering if the door is unlocked. What? I'm helping. Hey, I'm Magnum, okay? And I'm going to get to the bottom of this perplexing mystery. Magnum! Mr. Herman, have I caught you at a bad time? And you will be Higgins. You hear me? Higgins. And another... Hello? Hello? That phone is for employees only. Sorry to crash your party. (laughs) Super, really? I hired a pelican to spy on you. He hired a pelican to spy on you. I don't get it. Why the shit would he care about Danny Hong so much? I don't know, but I overheard him on the phone taking orders from the pizza man. Which is unusual, because generally it's... Pizza man? I'm here to offer your client a plea bargain. He pleads guilty. I drop the charge to manslaughter. Level 3 imprisonment, 20 years, maximum. And with good behaviour, he's out in less than 10. You have no proof to support you. You have no witnesses to support you. Nothing. You have nothing. This is a gift. Oh, I know all about you. Big, successful dog lawyer. Well, let me tell you something. Your kid, Hoang, is a violent thief. A prime candidate for a Spinoli procedure if ever I saw one. I will put him behind bars. You may be certain of that. But it's up to you as to how long he stays there. Take some advice from a real lawyer. Forget the trial. Make a deal. Play ball. (laughs) Fine. See you in court, Mr. Herman. Herman. Herman! It's Jeppo. He's back. Mr. Palumbo, are you satisfied with this jury selection? I am, Your Honour. Mr. Hong, where is your legal counsel? Uh, I don't know, Your Honour. In that case, I have no choice but to... Objection. Overruled. What's the nature of this evidence? Uh, Your Honour, this this should be discussed in chambers. No, I'll hear it now, Mr. Palumbo. But it better be good, Mr. Herman. (coughs) Mr. Herman. (coughs) Mr. Herman, if you need some time to... If you... All right, I'm all right. Who are you? I'm Chuck. I'm Herman's assistant. I don't have you listed as additional counsel. Your Honour! Your Honour, we move for a full dismissal of this case. On what grounds? This murder was orchestrated with one object in mind. To frame the defendant, Danny Hong. Objection! Overruled. Orchestrated by whom? By him. (coughs) This is outrageous and disgusting. Your Honor, I can and will explain everything. It was four years ago. Herman defended this kid, Danny Hong. He's out with a bunch of his dickhead pals one night. They go past a pizza place, and outside there's this four-foot wooden statue of a stereotypical Italian pizza chef. So Danny decides he'll show off his impressive vandalism skills, and he kicks the thing over. 
realizing too late that the statue is not in fact a statue, but rather an actual living four foot tall stereotypical Italian pizza chef named Jeppo. It was an assault charge, but since Danny was a minor and he thought he was kicking a lump of wood, Herman was able to plead a sentence down to community service. But that wasn't enough for Jeppo or his partner, Leonard Aloysius Palumbo. They conspired to pay Danny back. They hired an assassin to waste a passerby and planted phony evidence on the body to frame him. Right? <laughs> this is idiotic, Your Honor. Try me once more, Mr. Palumbo, and you'll be held for contempt. Mr. Herman, who is this assassin? <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, hold it just a minute, sir. <laughs> I knew you'd be back in my courtroom one day. Last time, you got lucky. But this time, I'm gonna throw your burnt ass in jail! Take those two away. Also, Mr. Palumbo. <laughs> what? No, oh, let go of me! Let go of me! You can't believe anything that pelican said! Don't bother. I'm declaring a mistrial. This court is adjourned. Oh, yeah, whore! You know, I could have carried this folder in for you. Yes, yes, you're very cute. Everybody liked it. That's all right. You had a fur ball. I always wanted to try lawyering anyway. Thank you. Hey! You're a crazy son bitch, Frank! But you get the job done! Here! Welcome back! Sergeant! Wanna go play frisbee? <clears throat> okay. Good dog. Next week on Herman the Legal Labrador. Like